Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Elvira and I would like to bring through a message that uh, you might need to hear right now and it's just whatever comes to me uh, in this moment. So there's a lot of uh, uncertainty on the planet right now and some people are able to ride this wave of uncertainty in a very graceful way and some people are really struggling with um, how this uncertainty affects them right down to their own particular life and it's not easy necessarily to not know what is going to happen this is a tendency for humans. It's a tendency for us to want to control the outcome of everything that is occurring around us and within us and in our lives. And it's just, it's just not a realistic thing because life is supposed to play out as needed, as necessary for the evolution of this planet. And I'm not talking about just the evolution of humans, I mean the entire planet as a whole, because we are one consciousness, and the illusion of separateness, it's just, it is an illusion. So we are not actually um, working on an individual level here. Uh, whatever is happening is, is like an ascension and an evolution of the entire whole. But a lot of us are not really connected to that right now and that is part of the reason why uncertainty is such a prominent thing and needing to control everything is so prominent in so many lives right now especially with all the stuff that's happened recently in the world so the main thing is um, remembering one that we are all connected we're all one and everything that is occurring is almost like it's one per if one person is affected a certain way that vibration is actually spreading through the entire planet as as ridiculous as that may sound it is there is n there is no way that my thoughts my actions and my words are not directly affecting every other being that exists on this planet so if you think of it that way, then you can understand how important it is to re remain in that inner space. So this is a space that a lot of people forget that they have. It's an internal heart space. It's an internal knowing right at the center. So that's why when we introduce ourselves you know you don't point to your face and say my name is Elvira you point to your your heart center if you're gonna point to yourself and say my name is Elvira so <clears throat> there is an inner space an inner knowing that is all knowing of the truth that exists and what happens is our egos take us out and as soon as the ego comes into play the thinking, the worrying, it's like we've completely disconnected from the whole and ultimately we've disconnected from ourselves because if you've disconnected from the whole, it, it's just a representation of disconnecting from yourself. So once you understand that one, you are part of the whole of this entire universe, not only planet, I'm going to expand that further, the entire universe, and once you understand that whatever is going on within is just an, it's a representation of what's going on externally and how you feel about the entire planet and universe it's so much uh, you can bring so much more awareness to the fact that your uncertainty is really just an illusion because you're creating this perception that you are not actually supported so that you have to be worried about the outcome of everything. When you understand that we are all connected and we are all one energy here, 
if you can fall right into that space of knowing, then all you can really do is trust in the outcome of what is going on. A lot of what's happening is a huge illusion right now. The physical realm is only what we make it. Our perception is what is creating it. And again, these are things that a lot of people maybe don't understand or believe because if you watch something on the news, how are you creating that? Well, you are creating it within your reality to be more real than it actually is because you are believing it, you are thinking about it, you are feeding it. So as soon as you realize there's so much more beyond that story that you are seeing outside of you, and that is just a creation of the human ego experience, then you start to fall into the space of trust and love and knowing and um, ultimately the creative beings that we are. And it's so simple to reach these, this space. It's, it's more simple than, than a lot of people really think. You don't have to sit down and meditate and sit up straight and close your eyes and think of nothing because that's that is just another man-made illusion of what meditation is it's not necessarily that you can include that if that is how you reach the space of all-knowing love stillness pure consciousness however how about nature right these are simple things like i'm just sitting at the lake and staring at the water with the glittering sun and hearing even the background noises that are not natural like motors and stuff it doesn't matter but what's what matters is I'm getting pulled in to the entire space of this one creation that exists right here knowing that I am that I'm emerging with it and when I realize that I am that and I'm merging with all of this around me the fear of the future the uncertainty the not knowing the what's gonna happen what if ceases to exist and it doesn't mean you're in denial it doesn't mean you're in a fantasy land what it means is that you are living in the moment and you understand that what happens next doesn't it's it's not that it doesn't matter but your focus on it no longer needs to exist because you are focused right now and planning for the future is necessary to some extent because we need to decide on what happens and how to strategically create our lives. However, a lot of that comes from, uh, can come from fear as well. So when we create our lives, you also have to stand in the space, you have to combine it with the left and the right brain, okay? So logic and strategy which is the human you know experience the ego then and you need some of that to be able to thrive on this particular 3d earth plane but you also need to sit in the space of creativity and knowing that as soon as you send out a thought feeling uh, vision that we are that powerful that we can draw that to us. So it's not only about like, okay, I got to save this much money and I got to do this and I got to, you know, search uh, different jobs and I have to see and I have to do these trainings and blah, 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 all that stuff. But it's also sitting in the knowingness that you will be presented with what it is that you are meant to have in this life. So there's that kind of quote that says, um, you know, if you tell God about your plans, God will just laugh at you. Because it's true, like we can't actually 
you know, make plans and s expect that everything turns out exactly as is because you will always be shown maybe a barrier here but it's not a barrier it's just like hey this way is not the way to go right now so you have to change what you thought you were going to do because for your personal evolution and learning and growth you're supposed to do something else and yeah who's planning this maybe your your soul your guides you can think of whoever or whatever it is that you think is is kind of guiding this but it's basically your own um evolution uh and sorry my dog's not staying still it's your own soul basically that is creating your experience and it's based on now this again you don't have to I mean take it or leave it but it's a combination of past lives and uh your 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 basically your purpose your soul purpose like every life that you come in there is a general energy around you or within you that it that guides you to do a specific thing so a lot of healers will recall past lives where they were healers and they may, maybe they were uh, penalized for that and they keep coming back as healers and you know sometimes they discover this later in life and they realize that is their purpose they have to come here to uplift and and help others to heal so there is generally an inner um, like as soon as you're born, there's already a purpose for you. And life will take you in all kinds of directions until you understand and align with that. So to plan has its has a purpose because it's kind of we're we're living in this 3D reality. So there's some level of that egotistical planning and thriving in that way but then there's also that divine purpose of just allowing yourself to fall in to what it is that you are here to do and what it is that you are going to be shown and what it is that you are supposed to follow and it does require a little bit of trust intuition and like tapping into our ability to to feel and know and trust and see and hear the inner hearing, the inner seeing, the inner feelings. These are all psychic type abilities that we all have, but it's, it's tapping into them that a lot of people are still trying to access and some people aren't. And, and, but I'd say a lot of the planet right now has become more and more awake to their abilities, which is throwing us even more quickly into the five-dimensional consciousness, which is really way beyond this physical experience right now. And it's like we are remembering who we are as a whole. So uncertainty is not necessarily to be feared it's something to embrace and instead of looking at it negatively it's it's more like going into the space of the trust that everything is connected and everything is happening as it needs to and going into the heart space that is where you will find it directly into the heart stillness Thank you for listening and if you like this video please click like and love and light to all of you. I will definitely see you soon. Take care.